Okay, so those of you watching my main channel are probably wondering why I've uploaded an overtly political video to my main channel. And basically it's because this is really, really bad, so I'm trying to make as big a stink about it as possible. And then also, and then for those on the second channel, uh, yeah. I was planning to make a video on the Matrix today explaining the whole Matrix trans analogy. Basically because a lot of cis allies, like cis people, even cis allies, seem not to really understand it, even though it's pretty overly obvious to me, and it seems like I've ended up making a, a, a pretty different trans video today. So yeah, that's a whole thing. So, yeah, let's cut to chase. So, in Oklahoma, they've introduced Bill OKSB129. Okay, basically serves to stop people, basically serves to stop trans people under the age of 26 from transitioning. Which, uh, America, this is a country where you can go and you can buy alcohol and drink alcohol five years younger than that. In most countries, you could, like, this is how... Most countries, you can buy alcohol and all, like, eight years younger than that. And also, like, transition younger than that. Like, here in the UK, the NHS would, like, you could get hormone, hormone replacement therapy from the NHS a whole decade younger than what this bill would allow you to, even if you're going out privately on your own, which places this, this the states you'd have to. It would also stop requiring ins healthcare insurance to cover gender-affirming care, as well as it would also stop Medicaid from doing so. I'm not even sure, I'm 90% sure you can, this, you're not even allowed to do it on the state level, but, uh, Republican bullshit. That's all I can say about that. Also, based on how it's worded, there's also people suspecting that it might also stop people who are, who have already transitioned from continuing to transition if they're below this age. So that's a whole load of shit fuckery as well. Now, I do not think there is any significant worry that this bill in itself, in and of itself, is actually going to pass. It is not. That's not happening anytime soon. However, what it is, what it does do, is it is it's it's a precedent. There's now been a bill that bans people who are over a quarter of a century old from transitioning. That exists now. If they introduce stuff like this more times over, eventually it normalizes the idea of introducing bills like that. Eventually, they can pass one of them, or they can pass, or they can start proposing more and more extreme ones. Like, what if set? What if actually no? I think we shouldn't let people transition till thirty four, then forty two, then fifty, and then uh, just banning it outright. Like, look, I'll I'll fully admit, I'll fully acknowledge. Look. There's not a trans genocide going out on in the United States right now. And as for the UK, yeah, there is, when people say that it's in the US and UK, yeah, they are fully going over the top and being very ignorant and being very Americanistic. Tariffs in the UK like make a big show of being cunts, but in terms of legal stuff, there's been jack shit in terms of trans people in politics. Like, I think Liz Truss took advantage of it for one little political ad, and uh, there's been the Gender Recognition Act in Scotland, and Sunak said some weird shit about it, but nothing's come of it yet, but there's still time for that. But it's like, the idea of a trans genocide in the UK especially is completely absurd. But even then, in the States, it's still, it's not happening yet. But this is an example of the fact that they are trying to get to the point when it, where it is happening. And, uh, yeah, slippery slope fallacies are a fallacy generally speaking, but there's one time when I think they're acceptable, and that's when there is someone who is willfully and plannedly trying to slide us down it. But you see, the thing is, when you want to do a so-called bad thing, the way you get away with it is you gradually get closer and closer to doing it, and so each stage isn't that big a deal until you're doing a, what, would previous, what would once have been seen as an incredibly awful thing. You know? It's, you know, we can... It, <laughs> We'd have a, we have a better world if we acknowledge fascism before it happens than if we only acknowledge it after the fact, you know? That's gonna make a better world. So, yeah, basically, it's, uh, they can't keep getting away with this. It's a big, f this is a, the, the, the only ever law that's banned adults was, like, banning people up to 19, not law bill, it didn't pass, but I don't believe it's actively being shot down yet. But that's a, but 19 years old, that's a good, what, seven years younger than 26? So that's a hot seven year jump right there. Com like compared to the, pri to, the, to the alcohol age in the States, that's what? A good, like a, a five year jump? 
compared to the age of adulthood in the States and in most countries, oh, that's an eight-year jump. Literally, when you're 26, being 18 is halfway back to when you turned 10. Like, that's, that is an incredibly, that is an extremely long time on the scale of a human life. You know, it's kind of, it's, it's a big, it's, it's a big thingy. So, uh, yeah, this, uh, a big stink needs to be made about this. It needs to be a bit. It needs to be a publicity disaster to discourage them from carrying this fervor. At the very least, for a while. So, uh, any pla- this is a call to action. Uh, if you have any kind of platform, uh, bring this up. Like, if you have a YouTube channel or a TikTok or anything, maybe bring this up. Maybe even just in the form of a community post. Like, hey, this is happening, and normally I wouldn't talk about polit- political st- shit, or maybe I do talk about political shit, I don't know, but this is a pretty big deal, this one thing, this one time. I'm not making you, but I'm saying you should. I'm encouraging you. Like, like maybe tell folks, I don't know, maybe post about it on Twitter or Facebook or something. I don't know, just try and get the word out about this ridiculous shit. Okay, Th- there needs to be a stink made about it. You know, okay, that's the whole thing, and if even if you don't feel like doing that, which I completely understand, I have executive function disorder, you can still hit the like button, it benefits me, I, it costs you nothing, it, t- it takes you no effort, it, it, it promotes this video, and so more folks are going to see it, and so it's going to make a bigger stink about this whole bill, plus it also benefits me and makes my channel bigger, and frankly, I, frankly, I just want people to see the stuff I make, I put effort into it, okay? Anyway, uh, peace.